Question 9 says an ideal gas occupies a volume of 1.2 cubic centimeters at 20 degrees Celsius and atmospheric pressure. Determine the number of molecules of gas in the container. And B, if the pressure of the 1.2 cubic centimeter volume is reduced to 2 times 10 to the negative 11th pascals, while the temperature remains constant, how many moles of gas remain in the container? Okay, so the first part of this problem, it gives us a pressure. It says that the pressure is one uh, is atmospheric pressure, so it's one atmosphere, one atm, and it gives us the volume. It gives us the volume a little bit weird though. It says that it's 1.2 cubic centimeters. Uh, it gives us uh, the temperature, and it tells us that the temperature is uh, 20 degrees. Uh, Celsius, so that's 293.15 degrees or 15 Kelvin. Kelvin is not in degrees; it's just expressed as Kelvin. And so the question doesn't say this, but we should know that the ideal gas constant is 0 0.0821, and the unit for that is uh, liters times atmospheres over uh, Kelvin. Uh, times moles. Just as an aside, um, you may have seen the gas law constant maybe in a chemistry class as 8.314 joules, uh, joules per Kelvin uh, times moles, joules over Kel uh, temperature times moles. And the way that's th that this number is ar arrived at is if you look at liters, liters is simply uh, volume, or or volume is simply meters cubed. If we say, if we're in meters, well, liters is not in meters, but volume is meters cubed. Liters are um, deciliters cubed. So uh, this is uh, the same thing as saying meters cubed times, and then pressure. Atmosphere is a pressure, so pressure is the force over meters squared. And so we actually can cancel out two of the m's here and both of the m's there, and we get meters times, we get distance times force. So distance times force is the same as work, and work is expressed in joules. So when you see joules per k uh, times moles, um, that's how that, those units are arrived at, and they have to have a different number because the liters are not in meters cubed. And so if you're taking a general chem 2 class, gen, uh, gen chem 2 uses this number quite a bit. So anyhow, back to the, the equation, the, we have enough to figure out what N is, the number of moles. The question wants the number of atoms, or the number of, of molecules. And so what we'll do is we'll set up a P times V equals NRT, and then we'll solve for N. So N equals PV over RT. And then we can plug in our values for, for P and V and, and T and R. But before we can do that, we have to convert our volume because uh, the volume in the, in the gas law constant is in liters. So um, if we're going to use the gas law constant to cancel out, we have to have our volume in liters to cancel it out. And so 1.2 centimeters cubed. So centimeters cubed is the same thing as milliliters. So if we divide this by a thousand, we can get the number of liters, so we have 0 0.0012 liters. So when we take the pressure times the volume, the pressure times the volume would be 0 0.0012 times one atmosphere, so it's going to be it's going to be 0 0.0012 because one times that number is the same number over 0 0.0821 times 293.15. That gives us a number, the number of moles that we get from that is uh, N equals 4.9, that's a bad looking 4, but that's 4.986 times 10 to the negative fifth moles. And this wants the answer in in atoms. So if we, we know that moles over 1 
uh, times that by uh, the number of molecules in a mole, so, so the Avogadro's number, Avogadro's number over one mole, so we would end up getting moles canceled out. So if we take our 4.986 times 10 to the negative fifth moles over one, so this is moles, over 6.022 times 10 to the 24th um, molecules per, per mole, per one mole, our moles cancel out. We can multiply these two numbers and when we do, we'll find that we have three, uh, three point zero zero two five times ten to the nineteenth molecules of air, or of gas, whatever you want to call it. Then part B says um, we've got the same we've got the same area with with gas in it. And part B says if the pressure of one point two cubic centimeters. Uh, uh, if the pressure of the 1.2 uh, cubic centimeter volume is reduced, so we had one atmosphere, we had one atmosphere, and the pressure is reduced to 2.0 times 10 to the negative 11th pascals, the temperature remains constant. How many moles of gas remain in the container? And so we have a, a problem here because um, we can either use pressure in units of atmospheres or we can use pascals. So like we just went over, if we use atmospheres, uh, we got to convert pascals to atmospheres and we can use our R value as 0 0.0821. Or we can, we can use the pascals that it gives us, but our R value would be um, 8, 8.314. And that would be meters cubed times pascals over, over Kelvin times moles. Now, if we use meters cubed, then we have a problem because it's 1.2 centimeters cubed, and we have to convert that to meters cubed, which is not hard, but you have to decide how you want to do that. I like the, uh, the old-fashioned way that I was taught in, in Gen Chem 1 uh, to use the 0 .0821, so I will convert my pascals to atmospheres. And the conversion for that is that 9.87, uh, 9.87, erase that, times 10 to the negative 6th atmospheres for every 1 pascal. And so we can just set up 2 times 10 to the negative 11th time over 1, and this is in pascals, the pascals cancel out, times 9.87 times 10 to the negative 6th. And so what we end up with is 1.974 times 10 to the negative 16th atmospheres. Now with that in mind, we can set up our equation. So in the last video, I believe we covered that, that if we have P1, V1, we have an initial pressure and initial volume, and it's going to equal the initial number of, of moles times the the gas law constant, which the gas law constant doesn't change, so we don't have to put a 1 in front of it, times the initial temperature. If we divided each side by, by the final, so P2, V2, the final pressure times the final volume, and, and this side by the final number of moles times the gas law constant times the final temperature, it would equal the same. It's, it's like saying that we have 10 equals... 5 times 2 and and saying that uh, that our final our final thing is 20 equals 10 plus 10 well I could put 10 over 20 equals 5 times 2 over 10 plus 10 makes sense because we get 1 half equals 1 half if you solve both reduce both sides down as far as they will go and that that works perfectly so that's all we're doing here and we're going to be able to cancel out anything that's the same so the uh, gas law constant doesn't change and then in the problem it says the temperature remains constant so that's going to cancel out it says the pressure is reduced the volume remains the same and it wants to know how many moles so the the pressure is the only the pressure and the number of moles are the only thing that change so we can get p1 over p2 equals 
N1 over N2. Well, we said that the P1 was one atmosphere. We said that N1, uh, N1 was, uh, was four, so N1 was 4.986 times 10 to the negative fifth. So one atmosphere over, and we converted into, um, in, from Pascals to atmospheres. And we said that, that P2 would be 1.97 times, times 10 to the negative 16th. And we, so we, we need to solve for N2. So N2 equals, N2 equals, N, N2 equals N1 times P2 divided by P1. So that's solving for N2 using this equation. And so the, the N1 we said was 4.986 times 10 to the negative fifth. P2, we said, was 1.97 times 10 to the negative 16th. And then we, we divide by P1, which we said was one atmosphere. So divided by one is whatever number the top gives us. And so when I solved for it, I got that the N2 equals 9.841 times 10 to the negative 21st power um, moles. So that's the answer.